Question three. What value of m satisfies the equation six times 4m minus three, close parentheses, plus six, equals four times 4m plus 11, close parentheses, record your answer in the space provided. So we're gonna have to go ahead and solve for the variable m. So we're gonna need to isolate m, so that means I need the m alone. I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. The first way will be by hand, and then the second way will be a shortcut with the calculator, so stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that question over here. Let's go ahead and put a line on the equal sign, and that is to separate the left from the right side. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the left side. Now, if there are parentheses, you must do the parentheses first, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do the parentheses. There are two numbers inside of the parentheses, 4m and negative three, okay? That negative in front is with the three, and Guys, the parentheses are actually the stuff inside the parentheses and the number that is right in front of the parentheses. So the number basically touching the parentheses in the front. So parentheses means multiply. So let's go ahead and multiply. What is six times four? Six times four is 24. Copy the M, okay? And then we're gonna do six again, six times negative three. Now, if you don't know, please go ahead and use a calculator. Let's go ahead and practice using that calculator. Six times, or multiply, negative three. That would be negative 18. So we're going to go ahead and put here minus 18. Copy the plus six because it is not a part of the parentheses. All right, now take a look here. This is a little weird. Why is it a little weird? Because I have three terms. I have three parts. So this is, the first term is 24m. The second term is negative 18, and the third term is positive, uh, positive 6. So guys, that negative is with the 18, that positive is with the 6. It's very important that you do that. Okay, now we're going to do the like terms. So like terms have the same variable or the same letter. So take a look here. This is M. Is there another M here? No, there is not. Here there's no variable, no letter. So I'm going to go ahead and put a symbol. And here is also no variable, no letter. So I'm going to go ahead and put the same symbol. So these are similar because they both have no variable, no letter. We're going to go ahead and copy this one because it's by itself. It doesn't have a partner. 24M. Now these I can combine because they are like terms. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the calculator. You're going to do negative 18 plus 6. And that's negative 12. Okay, perfect, that looks great. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the right side now. So guys, there's parentheses, so I need to do that first. Okay, so remember the parentheses start from the number in the front, right in front of the parentheses, including the numbers that are inside. So how many parts or how many terms inside? Two, 4m and positive 11. So remember, parenthesis means multiply. We're gonna go ahead and do four times four. Go ahead and put that in the calculator if you don't know. Four times four is 16. Copy the M, don't forget that M. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it again. Four times 11. Four times 11 is 44, positive or negative, because you need to put that sign, it's positive. Okay, make sure you put that equal. And it's just two terms. They are not like terms. They don't have the same letter. So I'm going to go ahead and copy them both down. So I'm going to copy them in the same line here. Copy. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, now I can focus on the letter. Now take a look. I have a problem. I have two letters, and they are the same letter, but they are two. So I need to put them together. I need to combine them. So what you do in this case is I want you to always move the letter that is on the right. We're going to move the letter on the right. This is positive 16. The opposite of positive is negative. So minus 16m, and we're going to go ahead and copy that under the M right over here, minus 16 M. And go ahead and put that in the calculator. What is 24 minus 16? 
Okay, that is eight. Copy the M. Here, we did nothing. Go ahead and copy that down. Minus 12 equals 16 minus 16 is zero. It cancels. Don't put zero. Don't put anything. Copy down 44. I don't need the plus because it's alone. I don't need to show that it's a positive 44 here. All right. So again, I want the letter alone. I want to isolate the M. I want the M alone. So I have two numbers here. I have the 8M and the negative 12. Which number is touching M? 8 is touching M. Okay, so don't move that one. Don't move the number with the letter. We're going to move the other one. So this is minus 12. We're going to do the opposite, which is plus 12. And when we do an opposite, we need to copy to the other side. Go ahead and copy that over. Go back to the left. Here, there's nothing. We did nothing. Go ahead and copy down 8M. I'm going to circle that M. Negative 12 plus 12 is 0. It cancels. Don't put anything. Equals 44 plus 12. What's 44 plus 12? Let's see. 4 plus 2 is 6. 4 plus 1 is 5. So 56. All right. Now, is the M alone? No, it's not alone. I have an 8. Okay, so guys, if you have a number and a letter and they're touching and there's no sign or operation in the middle, that is multiplication. So this right now is 8 times m, 8 multiplied by m. You need to do the opposite. What's the opposite of multiplication? The opposite is division. So I'm going to go ahead and divide. What number is with m? It's 8. So divided by 8. Go ahead and copy because we did an opposite. Divided by 8. 8 divided by 8 is 1, but it cancels because 1m is just m. Copy the m equals 56 divided by 8. If you don't know, please put it in the calculator. It's 7. m equals 7. That is your answer. All right, let's go ahead and check it with our calculator. So go ahead and grab your calculator. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see everything here. All right, so... Let's go ahead and start from the beginning here so I could show you how to enter. So go ahead and push on. You're going to go 1. No, you don't want to save anything. And then go to 1. I want to enter in the calculator here. Okay, so the buttons are menu, 3, 1. Okay, so you should have end solve. Let's go ahead and put the question. I'm going to put the question that I originally had, which is right over here. Let's go ahead and do that. So put the, the numbers here, six. Um, let me go ahead and zoom out a little more. All right. So six, parenthesis, open parenthesis, four. Put the M. The letters are down here. Four M minus three, close the parenthesis, plus six. Put your equal. Here's the equal sign. Four, open parenthesis, four M plus 11, close the parenthesis. All right, now you can't push enter, don't push enter. No, you need to put comma, and you need to tell the, the calculator what letter you're looking for. I'm looking for M. So go ahead and push M, then you can push enter, and the answer is seven, which is the same as what I got. So that's how you do that one. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment. Tell me which, uh, which way you prefer. Did you like doing it by hand or did you like doing it with the calculator? And please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video. See you next time. Have a nice day.